So you like swimming, but after about the 20th length, it gets a bit boring, doesn't it? Well, H2O, uh, available in the UK from a company called Marine AV, has the answer by allowing you to listen to your iPod underwater. Now all you have to do is take the waterproof case, you slot your iPod in like so, lock it up and down, and then you can control it via uh, these dials here. And buttons. Now you're probably thinking, well, that's all very well and good, but what about the earphones? Surely they're going to get wet. Well, they've thought of that as well. And they've come up with a uh, waterproof earphone set that just uh, plugs in like so to this rather waterproof looking uh, nozzle. Now, with the headphones, it does come with an arm strap, but if you have this strapped to your arm and this on your head, it, it all gets a bit dangling, especially when you start doing your front crawl. So an optional extra is this wrist, uh, this waist strap that you can just, um, let me show me how this works. Slide the iPod Nano case in like so, factor that up, and then rather like one of those bodybuilding belts, you, uh, you put it on. Now what this does then, if I show you on the back, is it allows you to pull the headphones up. It runs down the small of your back, and the center of your back, which then gives your arms perfect freedom. They slot in and it's all good. Now we're going to do a couple of lengths uh, to see what the sound quality is like and see whether they're comfortable to wear and then let you know when we're done. So what do we think? Well, to be honest, we haven't really felt that we've been wearing them. Uh, excuse me, which is a really good sign. And certainly with the, uh, the waist strap rather than the armband, which we think would get in the way if you're with your arms, certainly makes a difference and probably definitely worth the £30 extra investment. Sound-wise, it's pretty good. It's amazing that you can listen to music. It's not something we've experienced before, and it's, it's quite a nice uh, sort of feeling. It certainly let the uh, lengths go a lot quicker. The only thing we would say, however, is that if you're too busy listening to your favourite music tracks, you're probably going to get, forget to count, which could uh, hinder the whole thing worthless. So overall, it's good. The, uh, the actual waterproof casing costs £54.99 for the Nano. Uh, the headphones cost another £30. As you say, the, wrist strap, the waist strap, which you definitely need, will cost you another £30. If you're a diehard swimmer that enjoys doing that sort of mile swim every day or a couple of times a week, then it's definitely worth an investment. And that's the uh, H2O uh, iPod Nano waterproof casing. We hate people that answer the phone when you're talking to them. Hello, sorry, I'm filming an episode of Megawatt. I can't really talk now. You see, it's bloody annoying, isn't it? And that's what we hate. You know, you're there talking to them right now. So why should the person on the other end of the phone be more important? How rude! Rude, man! It's just... Ugh, it's just really annoying. And that's why we hate people answering the phones when they're talking to you. Well, that's it for this week. I hope you have a wet summer so you can enjoy some of the gadgets. Tune in to Megawatt next episode where we'll give you the lowdown on the latest piece of kit from the world of technology and gadgets.